number one, this is Pear 10 Slides, and this is my Spider-Verse PowerPoint tutorial. Because y'all been asking me for that in a while. So, yeah, let's begin. <laughs> So the first thing that we need to do here on our tutorial is to create our background image. As you can see this dark blue at the back. But this tutorial would run less than 10 minutes so I will be showing you the most important aspect here on our PowerPoint template. So I will be teaching the first four slides right over here and also the 8th and ninth slide and also the 12th to 15 slide. All right, so now let's create our own version of Spider-Verse PowerPoint template. So the first thing that we need to do, as I've said earlier, is the background. You could just head on to the Pinterest and search for Spider-Man comics black and white version and it will show you this bunch of stuff there you go you can just download them and insert on your slide all right so let's say you've downloaded three comic photos of spider-man so we will just arrange them um, just like this the position of the comics should be like this or it's all up to you if you would like to modify it on your own so the next thing that we need to do is to insert um, a rectangular shape all over this slide and it's all up to you what color you would like um, to put here but the thing here is that you need to remove first the shape outline of it and let's just change the color here so I'll right click go to format shape and from the color part go ahead and choose the color that you want and increase the transparency to 20% there you go Alright, so make sure to duplicate this slide and hit Ctrl D to duplicate the slide. There you go. And we will start our title slide here in slide number 2. So in here we will first create our title slide. So basically just add some text and minimal designs right over here. Alright, there you go. So I just copied this text from the original powerpoint that i made all right so the next thing that we need to do here is to create the um, logo the eye logo of spider-man and also the spider itself there you go so this is what i'm talking about right over here so basically you could just download this on the internet if you would like to because i just downloaded this spider-man right over here but i created um this spider-man eye All right so moving on we will now add the shapes um right over here at the sides of our slide and if you would like to again change the color just right click on the shape hit the format shape and select the gradient fill and in here just select the color that you want we will first copy this um spider-man eye and the spider copy that and paste it here on our first slide there you go and then position it at the middle of the slide and then we will duplicate this first slide again click the first slide and hit ctrl d there you go and then hit the first slide and in here enlarge this spider-man i mean enlarge this um spider logo so the next thing that we need to do is to play with the circular shapes so what i mean is we are going to use there you go we will be using this hollow circle right over here so we will play along with this so we will be needing at least four of these but before that let's first it should look like this and position it at the center of our slide change the color obviously make it like gradient fill there you go gradient and we will create and we will just duplicate this again and open the hollow part of it by the way do not forget to remove the outline of these shapes all right and but before that let's add some glow on this shape first let's say color white and not really strong 
glow but just minimal glow increase the size there you go now we could duplicate it and open the hollow of the circle and then actually enlarge it a little bit all right so we will now move on we will just copy the circles copy and paste it on the second slide and in here we will just open these circles and rotate them um, back to its original position if you would like to change them the direction of the circles just go ahead and feel free to experiment on your own but for me i will now open this up just by hitting the yellow circle opening it like this there you go and another one opening like this and then the inner part would be like this Alright, so it should look like this and I modified it a little bit by changing the color of the glow and also removing the glow here on the second slide. Now for our third slide, we will just copy the circles again, copy and paste it here on the third slide. Now we will just reposition them. But before that, let's first rename these circles. Alright, so click one circle and go to the shape format and hit selection paint. Let's say this bigger circle would be circle 1. Circle 1. There you go. And the most important part here um, for our morph transition effect is to input this exclamation mark. This double exclamation mark will be really helpful and your friend during the morph transition effect and you will see it later on. Alright, so since we are done renaming the circles now we will just reposition them just like what what i did on our powerpoint template there you go so it should the arrangement of the circles should look like this all right so the next thing that we need to do is to copy these elements paste it here on the second slide now the thing here is that for our morph transition effect we will just move these elements outside of our slide position them right over here and let's try to make it a little bit larger the arrangement of the shapes here on our powerpoint templates is very necessary in order for us to have a very smooth morph transition effect so after studying the previous or the original template that we have the arrangement of some elements here on our slide should be like this all right as you can see here on our third slide we have these design elements the diagonal shapes right over here so make sure that they are positioned below the picture 18 which would be the spider man so the arrangement would be the spider the spider logo would be at the top and then followed by these rectangle diagonal shapes right over here and then followed by the circles which would be circle one two three and four and then lastly would be the group 21 which would be the spider-man eye for our second slide this um, rectang rectangle diagonal corner shape would be at the top of all of the elements isn't it and then followed them would be the circle one followed by the circle two three and four and then followed by the picture 20 which would be the spider logo and then followed by the group 13 which is the spider-man eye and in here in the first slide we have these four circles yeah we have these four circles at the top of the picture 20 which is the spider logo and then the group 13 which is the spider-man eye so the arrangement should be like this all right so please take note of that and then after that just go ahead and select all of this light and hit the morph transition so far we have this all right so for the fourth slide we just have the similar background of our spider verse and we also have these different cyberpunk elements right over here so i created this by merging some shapes and here are the shapes that i've used basically a uh, square rectangle and this isosceles triangle and also um, this trapezoid shape right there so i use the what i call this merge shapes right over here in order for me to come up with these cyberpunk elements right over here so in here we will just have our text so let's try to copy it from our original um, presentation right over here 
in here um, the slide number four is just basically the content of your slide the objectives to specify and the thing here is that for you to have like the morph transition effect we'll just copy all of these um, four elements and paste it right over here at the third slide but the thing here is that we will just move these elements outside our slide um, page there you go so we will just position them in order for them to enter to have like smooth uh, morph transition entry on our fourth slide and we will just have the morph transition effect for our fourth slide there you go